Outback Power System FX2532 MT Inverter Charger. Live here at the JW Solar USA in Minnesota. Guys, this is what we're talking about today. So this is the Outback I got and um, you guys seen a preview of that. These are all the specs if you want to read. Hold the camera there a little bit. And uh, this is the uh, the seal, not the vented. Okay, brand new one. And uh, never been run. Here's the turbo fan and the cover to cool the system from Outback. So, yeah, guys, this is what it is. So we're gonna be testing the 36 or uh, the 32 volt inverter to see how if it's gonna turn on for the first time and um, get a bolt and screw for the cover here and uh, let's go about taking this cover right here because we have to test the AC output and uh, stay tuned and now it is the cover we take this guy out here um, we have a lot of components in here warning signs and outback thing and uh, got a gel in here for the wires put them to so that you know for oxidation and here you can see it has the uh, network and temperature sensor so it's for the mate and hub and this cover can come out as well this one take this cover out and you can see through this is the jumper and this is the output and here is for the uh, the auxiliary which is for the turbo fan okay so all the good stuff stay tuned for that set this one on the corner and let's wire it up this um, guy and turn to see if we can bring power to the system so test it for the first time if it's gonna power up Excuse me for my hashy hands. I've been washing my hands a lot and um, You know because of the uh, COVID-19 So I'm just by myself and just um, the house here and my wife, but you know it has become a habit of Washing and cleaning and washing and cleaning so we have to be proactive with that and um, so guys this is what it is we're gonna be putting the wires here and uh, stay tuned we got a re really fine ribbon cable right here so guys we're gonna be testing this guy and see um, the power um, we're gonna put into this to test it yeah these two guys in here okay so we have a nut and a lock watch uh what ah a nut and a lock washer okay have them here lock washer okay um supposed to have a washer here a washer a lock not washer so remember guys polarity positive to positive or red don't ever have a washer underneath the um the terminal you have to be on top of it for proper contact so have the lock nuts or washer and Get this thing down. Okay, just to test it. If it powers up 
and uh, we can go from there and see right we're going to be testing it with the Volkswagen e-golf battery right here which is a 24 volt this inverter is a 24 32 and 36 volt because of the uh, variances of the uh, various um, voltages here it's a 32 volt nominal voltage See that right there? And this one can go up to about 45.3 right there. Okay. So the highest um so 35 amp. Okay. So we're going to test it with this um, battery because they go up to about 32 volts when it's pro uh, all full charge. So stay tuned. Let's see what I can bring you guys here live at the command center of the JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for this. Like and subscribe. Well, we're going to initialize here. Um, for the first time to see um, this inverter running and uh, stay tuned and let's check it out set the camera so you can see I spawned the inverter around so you guys can be able to see the lights. Pay attention to the lights down here and see if they're lit, then the inverter is good. Okay, um, stay tuned while we bring in you a live coverage the first time we initialize this Outback inverter. Here we go. Power it up right away. Alright. Alright guys, the inverter powered up and we're gonna see the voltage output on this thing. And it gives us a uh, hundred and twenty volt. That's what we want to see, hundred and twenty volt. Uh, 60 Hertz for the US okay I'm gonna set this meter right here I hope I'm not obstructing you can still see the lighting over there the lights so let's pay attention to that while i um, trying to set this thing for you guys right this is what I'm gonna do tighten up this one since I don't have um, enough hands to ho hands to hold this thing, so tighten up the probes and there, so that I can have a stability to show you the voltage coming out from this inverter. And uh, right now, I'm gonna show you the voltage because the uh, Magnum is still powered on, seventy percent. Zero charge. We are sitting at. We're going to be starting at twenty nine point five one voltage. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen here. We're starting at twenty nine. Hope to get you some good readings here live at JW Solar U. Okay. There we go. Inverter start up and the voltage didn't sag on the Magnum still sit at 29.51 fluctuating. So we bring in 120.2 volt. So that means the inverter is working. That's what I want to show you guys. 
Yeah, he is. 120.3 volts. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. So we know the inverter is working, and we're going to be running our test pretty soon. We'll install it. Like and subscribe.